Hi, I am Andrea and I was one of Karen's tutors at the Clinical Psychology Bachelor's program in Guatemala. I was also her play therapy and child work supervisor at the University Clinic, aptly named Victor Franco. I remember her for her calm personality, dedication to her cases, and keen interest in learning to improve her practice without leaving aside her personal style as a therapist. Sitting down to discuss the case, to discuss the cases, sorry, with Karin was enriching. And it was way more enriching to see her unfold with security tests in her information as a therapist. Let's go to the book, 20 Self-Care Habits. Her experience allowed her to generate and maximize strategies to maintain her own well-being. Karen's life's journey allowed her to develop assertive ways to set boundaries, securing her assertiveness and management of emotions. From a professional perspective, theory in conjunction with practice. From a personal perspective, practice in conjunction with theory. I share the feeling of some therapists that considers that being a therapist is a science and an art. Science in Karen, study, effort, work. Art in her person, her capacity to empathize and her serenity. It is a great to have connection to Karen, even after all these years. This had been made easier because my daughter lives in London and they are now connected through supervision, just like, a, like she and I were in the early 2000s. Synchrony. We've been able to meet up and Karin kindly show us around Brighton and Hulls, but more important that I had a chance to see Karin again in a professional and advanced outcome. Me, her ex-supervisor, and now her, my colleague. Lothar joy and companionship. Another synchrony. She, who I used to supervise, is now a supervisor. Few things were compared when one is academic, with the pleasure of seeing your pupil grow, develop assertively, and take steps with a personal style. That's what I see in Karen, a whole person who knows to evolve assertively in her personal and professional life sharing her knowledge with readers. Her suggestions are assertive, clear, and applicable. Her readers can find in her book ways to self-care, ways of understanding what they think, feel, and behave. The book contemplates self-care as well as interpersonal relationships. I am sure the readers will find this book fascinating. Additionally, readers can find caring on social media, and in her office, mostly online now, where she continues to help and offer help.